Hi, I'm Rachel from Little Vintage Photography and Ilford have asked me to create this series of bite-sized videos to help introduce you to some darkroom techniques. In the video today, we're going to be looking at working with colour negatives in a black and white darkroom. One of the really cool things about printing in a black and white darkroom is that you're not only restricted to using black and white negatives like this, you can actually use colour negatives too. So if you've got some favourite colour negatives that you'd like to create black and white prints from, you can actually do that. For example, I've got some images here, one from a wedding, a still life and an editorial fashion image. All of these prints were created using colour negatives in the black and white darkroom. The technique is very similar, whether it's a black and white negative or a colour negative, and I'll show you how to do that now. So first, choose your negative and load it into the negative carrier. Then you're going to set the size of your print. Focus the negative using the focus finder. This is one thing that I personally find a little bit trickier with the colour negative. So just take your time and make sure that you've got it really spot on. Make sure you set the f-stop on your lens for your exposure with a little bit of leeway so you don't have it wide open or completely closed down. Next, you get to choose your paper. You might find that with colour negatives, you have slightly less contrast in your print than with black and white. It's not always the case, but it's something to check for. So have a think and consider what kind of final look and creative effect you're after. Here are three examples of the same colour negative with the same exposure time printed onto three different black and white papers. So we've got the glossy, the satin and the pearl. I've used the multi-grade resin coated paper here, but you can of course use the Ilford fibre based papers too. Now you've got your paper, you're going to create a test strip in incremental steps as you would do with any black and white print. Then create your final print based on that. And then you're going to develop, stop, and fix your print as usual. I'm using the Ilford Multigrade for black and white paper as my developer. Now check the final print and see whether you'd like to change the contrast levels. The same principles of printing such as dodging and burning or using filters will still apply and they can make a big difference to the final look too. So here we've got a couple of examples of black and white prints I've made using the same colour negative. Now on this one I have used no filter at all. And then this one here, I've actually added a grade four filter, which is quite a harsh or a harder level of contrast filter. And as you can see, they look quite different. I personally prefer this one. So I probably spend a bit more time working on that print, maybe using some other darkroom techniques like dodging and burning or split grade printing in order to bring out the highlights. So that was working with colour negatives in a black and white darkroom. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that it's inspired you to have a go for yourself. We'd love to hear from you in the comments and if you've got any of your own images or work that you'd like to share, then please feel free to do that on Ilford's social media channels. If you'd like to learn more about other darkroom techniques, then you can check out the rest of the series on Ilford's YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching.